several police officers are filing a lawsuit against Greenville City Councilwoman Candy Smith. The officers are accusing Smith of leading efforts to get them fired after they pulled over Assistant Nash County Superintendent Leondis Farrow Jr. in May of 2018. John Midget is the executive director of the North Carolina Police Benevolent Association. We totally believe in transparency, but also we believe in accountability, and that is not, and that goes on, on both sides of the issue, whether it's law enforcement or uh, people on the other side of that. Councilwoman Smith did release a statement this afternoon saying the council only has the authority to make employment decisions concerning the city manager, city attorney, and the city clerk. At no time can an individual council member make any decision about the status of the employment of an employee of the city of Greenville. I, Candy Smith, am not in receipt of any formal notice of complaint. Greenville City Council met tonight as scheduled. It's the first public event for Candy Smith to attend following this morning's press conference. Now, your side's Brandon Troy was at that meeting. He joins us live in Uptown Greenville. And Brandon, what have you learned? Well, Ken, Candy Smith was not at either of today's city council meetings, but that did not keep today's news from coming up. This, as we're learning more about what's alleged in the case. There's one thing that good officers cannot stand, and that is bad officers. But the only thing worse than a bad officer is a bad politician. Monday night's Greenville City Council meeting featured a noticeable absence. On the day three officers from the city's police department file a lawsuit against her, Councilwoman Candy Smith's chair sits empty. Every day she is harassing these officers, I'm going to be right behind her supporting and defending them. Smith's absence didn't keep talk of the lawsuit away. People speaking during the public comment period in support of GPD officers and against the heavily debated Citizens Police Review Board. Who are these people going to be? Are they going to be elected people with backgrounds in uh, law enforcement or do you not want people within law enforcement because that might be biased? In court documents obtained by Nine on Your Side, the case alleges Councilwoman Candy Smith used her position's influence to leverage an internal investigation against three officers. The documents claim she did it to further her personal and political interests. One of those, according to the lawsuit, building a case in support of the idea of the Citizens Police Review Board. When the recent events brought to light today, it appears we don't need a police citizens review board as much as we need a city council review board. A source confirms with Nine on Your Side that all three of the plaintiffs were in attendance at today's press conference. One of them we've spoken with before. Josh Smith has worked with GPD for eight years. I caught up with him on a story in May about the city's gang unit. A lot of times we don't think about the kids that are affected, um, the brothers, sisters, and even the moms and dads and grandparents. The lawsuit calls out Chief Mark Holtzman, saying he and other GPD management cowed at the councilwoman's activism against the police. And we reached out to the Greenville Police Department for a comment. They point out that Chief Holtzman is not listed as a defendant in this case. They say because of that, they'll be releasing no official statement. Live in Greenville, Brandon Truitt, not on your side.